Hi everyone. In this video, I will be removing FIDE OS from a dual boot setup with Windows. I will go over two scenarios. The first scenario is where the FIDE OS boot files are using the same EFI partition as Windows. This is the most common scenario. The second scenario is if you had used a separate EFI partition for the FIDE OS boot files. So to start with the first scenario, go and boot into Windows, open up Disk Management, and locate your partition for FIDE OS. In my case here, it's the 39 gigabyte partition here. And if you have multiple partitions, you can go back into FIDE OS to confirm. Open up a terminal, Control Alt plus T, type in shell, and then type in LS block. And at the bottom, there's my partition, 39.1 gigabytes, FIDE OS dual boot. So I'm gonna remove this partition, right click, Delete, yes. And now I am going to extend my C drive, right click, extend, next, next, finish. Next, I'm going to remove the FIDOS boot files from the EFI partition. Open up command prompt as administrator. Go into disk part, list your disk, select your disk. List your partitions, select the EFI partition, partition number one, the 100 megabyte partition, and assign a free drive letter to it. I'm gonna assign drive letter Z. Exit, go into your Z drive, DIR, go into the EFI directory, DIR, and I'm going to remove the FIDE OS, the refine and tools directories. Remove FIDE OS, yes. And remove Refind, yes. And lastly, remove Tools, yes. DIR, and we see they've been removed, so that's good. Lastly, I'll need to remove the Refind boot configuration data entry using BCD Edit. So I'm gonna type in BCD Edit forward slash enum firmware. And we see all the entries here. I'm gonna look for Refine, which is right here. And I'm gonna copy the identifier. And I'm gonna remove it. BCD edit forward slash delete and then the identifier. And then I'm gonna do a check. And we see it's no longer there. And now I'm gonna reboot. All right, it boots straight into Windows as expected. All right, and in scenario two, if you're using a separate EFI partition for FIDE OS, the process is much simpler. Open up Disk Management and locate your FIDE OS partition. Right click, Delete, yes. And for the EFI system partition, I'm going to go into Command Prompt as Administrator, type in Disk Part, List my disk, select my disk, list my partitions, and locate the EFI partition for FIDE OS. In my case, it's partition four, the one gigabyte partition. Select the partition, and then delete partition override. Go back into disk management, extend your C drive. Next, next, finish. No need to make changes to BCD. And now I'm gonna reboot. All right, it booted straight into Windows. So that's it. That's how you can remove FIDE OS from a dual boot setup with Windows. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.